everyone, Diablo Diablo TV, saying what's up to you, subscribe, hit like, and today what I want to talk to you about is Star Wars, so a lot of people know that uh, I'm an OG, I'm deep in Star Wars, or was, and you know, I saw every single movie, the originals, original six, I saw every single one in the movie theater, I seen every one uh, up to Solo in the movie theater. And I was diehard since day one. Had all the toys. Had Millennium Falcon as a kid and everything. And then um, as as I got older, I stayed into it in the sense of reading the books and comic books. And to me, that's where it's at. You got the films. Revenge of the Sith is my f favorite film. And Empire Strikes Back. But I view it all as one film. It's all one story. It's all one saga. And it's all this, the story of the rise of Palpatine to become Emperor and the rule of the galaxy of the Sith, the final accomplishment of the strategy set forth a thousand years earlier by Darth Bane. So then, when you add what they call the EU, the expanded universe, it's not, the, not the, okay, fine, Ex expanded universe is a name for it, and now I mean, they disavowed it, Disney did, and now it's just Legends or whatever like that, so that, that kills the whole storyline for all of us, because I, and they, and, they, and they're picking and choosing bits of it, so what's going on right now with Star Wars Boycott, and you see, we killed Solo movie. I say we because I'm part of it. And uh, to me, it's not the the SJW social justice warrior stuff. That's how people call it. Um, it's you know these movies got all kind of aliens anyway. So uh, you know, like in the Solo movie I just watched, you know, okay, the one the one Marauder was a girl when she pulls off her helmet. Well, I already knew it anyway going into it. But what difference does that make? It doesn't make any difference if it's an alien or a girl or something like that. It was a cool character. That's what I'm concerned with. And you know, there was already a deep well. So, I, you know, I, I, went, I read the first book, Timothy Zahn, uh, Heir to the Empire, but you talking about the Bounty Hunters War Saga, Tales of the Bounty Hunters first, which goes into each one of those guys, and IG-88, and Bosk, uh, Zuckus and Forlorn, Dengar, you know, Boba Fett. And that's really when you, when you learn what Boba Fett's all about. You see him in the movies a little bit, but you got to read Tales of the Bounty Hunters, and then the Bounty Hunters War Saga. You got to read all three of those. And the characters they got in there is stuff you wouldn't be able to really make in a movie. Or you'd be very challenged like that. There's this arachnid assembler. Or there's these shell huts. Man, they got some crazy stuff in those books, man. And Prince Zysor. And, and, and now it's like I see in the solo, it's like they keep copying elements. So now they got this, uh, what, Crimson Dawn? Is that what it's called? A uh, criminal organization? Okay, well, there's already a criminal organization called Black Sun. They copied that, and then it's like Prince Zysor, he's badass, you know. So you go into all that, and then you go older, and you know, obviously, a lot of stuff there's in between, but you go into the Darth Bane saga, and that's ill because you're talking about one dude forming a plan to unite an entire galaxy and the, his order, the Sith order, to rule it, and I'm Sith. So the idea that one person will wield all the power of the dark side and complete power and then have an apprentice who will eventually take them out and raise, and raise everything to a higher level, you know, that, that plot right there, to see it accomplished, you know, no human being has even been able to unify the planet. We've never had a planetary leader yet. There's never been one world dictator. So that's the entire goal of life for a lot of people, right? Isn't it obvious? But uh, just imagine how puny human beings are, all of our greatest leaders, dictators, Nobody's ever been able to even take over this one planet. So, when you talk about Darth Bane and the Sith Order rising to rule the entire galaxy, now that's serious business. And sure, it's based on human history, and that's what's so cool about it, because it's much bigger than human history, because we've taken all of human history as a fantasy version of it. But the books, you take somebody like Drew Carpatian, you know, that's who should be running Star Wars Universe. I don't know, Kathleen Kennedy, what does she even know about Star Wars? Uh, she looked like she was uh, George, uh, Steven Spielberg's uh, assistant. I don't understand even who did. Does she, even read, does she ever read any of those books? Does she ever read any of the comic books? You don't know anything about Star Wars. If you don't know the history of the Sith Order, now nah, you start going back to Nagasato and that and the Dark Jedi's and the, 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 the Great Schism, the original, and then let alone you go into the New Republic and you start going into, you know... Uh, you start going to Darth Plagueis. You start going to some of those dudes. Uh, excuse me, Pla Plagueis, you know, obviously comes, uh, he's pre-Palpatine. -pre but you start going into uh, uh, Darth Malak. 
<laughs> Darth Malgus. All those tales. You know, man, you got a lot of heavy stuff in that era. The video games is where really you gotta you gotta go play those games, those original Knights of the Old Republic games one and two, to learn some of that knowledge. But uh, the, what I'm pointing at, and they just and they've been built and built and built. This is something we all followed. And George Lucas, I, I don't even know if these people that have running Star Wars now understand this, but what made Star Wars superior to me to Marvel was that Stan Lee, rest in peace. You know, let everybody kind of do whatever they want with the characters, but that's that that sucks because when you're invested in a character, now somebody else is doing something else with them. It's like, well, which one is it? You know. So Star Wars had inconsistencies initially uh, when the books started coming out and so forth. But but as we all know, George Lucas corrected it. He made he did things and he advised everybody who wrote these books. He didn't write the books himself, but they could, they corrected it. So there was a singular chronology of Star Wars. And then that's when you have these books, like, coming out after Phantom Menace and Revenge of the Essential Chronology. So you got a, you know, 60,000 year plus history of this, uh, go, you know, that's linear, that you can, that everybody can verify that all the books are following up under. So we all are part of that because we read this, we talked about it, the, the authors were fans themselves before and they built this universe. So then for, the, for Disney to come along... Then and say okay, well no, we don't we don't go by that anymore. That's you can't erase it out of our minds. And now it's over for us. Now you made these other movies, seven, eight, and are they even gonna make nine? Are they still making it? And then like the, I saw the Solo movie, it's cool, you know, it's it's all right. It's like watching I guess a cartoon or I don't know. I don't care about it. And uh, the the you know Woody Harrison was good and the actors were good and the the train and everything it was good, but uh, it's meaningless to me. It's not part of the same storyline. So, my advice to Star Wars, and mind you, I have my own Star Wars book. I wrote a book which I titled uh, Tales of, of the Sith Academy on Korriban 2. You don't know Korriban 2. That's my planet. It's all Sith, all Sith Academy. But anyway, uh, my advice would be to, I guess they have to put out number nine. But uh, basically, forget about that. If you want to try to get us back, the, hard, the diehard Star Wars fan, the toxic fan base, let's say. If you want to get us back... Forget about what you've done in the current times. Go back to Tales of the Bounty Hunter Saga. I don't know. Go back even further. Go back to Nagasato. Go back to the old Sith stuff. Go back to New Republic. And do it like it is in the books. Do it like it is in the video game. Stick to that storyline, that storyline that we already like. And another thing, I think you'd be better off hiring Star Wars fans than Hollywood actors who don't understand this stuff. I'm saying, like, they got the girl that was the droid... And, you know, it wasn't that bad. I didn't take it so offensive like uh, all the other people do. But, you know, she was just a droid. But, uh, I mean, I didn't get some up in arms like some of the other people about the social justice warrior element of it. But I did see that that girl didn't know anything about Star Wars. So is that fair to us who are fans to have people who don't even understand the this, this stuff that they're acting, that we've been following this our whole life? No. And people say it's for kids? Wrong. It's for whoever consumes it. Whoever chooses to buy it. And they make it five years old, they would have made it three years old, or two years old, or one years old if they could, because you can try to sell it to as many people as you can. But Star Wars, you start going into it from a, from a, a perspective of Jung, and the archetypes, and Joseph Campbell, and the implications of, of Sith and Jedi, and, and ninja, and samurai, and the Eastern elements, and the Chi Force, in the, in the Force, you know, it's heavy. Sure, it's set in a kind of a swashbuckling type of affair, but... You know, for people who look at it as kids' stuff, that's their problem. That's the way they saw it. That's part of the comic books. But we know that in comic books, there's nothing that's outside the possibilities or nothing that's outside of comic universe, whether it's mythology, whether it's high science, whether it's religion. That's all included, like in Marvel Comics, who, who, who takes place in, you know, in this, in this universe, in America and so forth. So, for the Star Wars uh, fanatics like me, it's over with, I presume. You know, it was fun while it lasted. I was glad to be this is day one. And then for people who's, who's running Star Wars, it's whatever you've done has failed. Scrap all of it. Start over in a different direction. Hire me. I'm the main man. I know the Star Wars universe. I'm the boss of the Sith on this planet and any other planet you're going to find. So you hire me, Diablo, the boss. Derek Diablo, IMF, into Miami firm, South Florida Sith order. And I'll restore Star Wars to its rightful place. Get these jabronis out of there. Mm-hmm. <laughs>